Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you a couple of little things that I do um, to research a niche for a website. Um, I'm going to use um, golf as an example and then I'm going to move on to something else um, because we all know that golf, the whole niche is like saturated and there's so much competition but I just want to show you how to work things out. Um, so what I did first is I came to Google and I typed in golf and here's the results. There's 395 million results. Okay, so this is in Australia here. So if I went, I don't know whether you'd get any different results in, uh, but really we don't need any more proof. Um, it's a pretty um, full on subject here and we can tell that the, it makes money because there are lots of ads here and if I go on to the next page and the next page there'll be ads on there as well okay so obviously everyone thinks that you can make money here because they're paying to be here okay um, you definitely wouldn't be able to uh, compete with these huge websites here so we will um, what we usually do is we drill down into a niche so I usually just press the space bar after that just to get some ideas and this will come up here um, look I bet you any money these are all used up as well um, but in my um, article I'm using golf swing as a um, an example so I'm going to press search and we've come down to oh, 5 million from 395 million so that's pretty good and now I'm going to put the space there and just press that there and see what I come up with um, okay so there is some niches there but um, I'm going to show you why it's not good to get into these ones so just say for an example um, alright I'm going to choose something but what I'm going to do first is just quickly go down the bottom of the page right down the bottom and down here it has related searches so I can actually click on one of these if I want so I'm going to click on golf swing analysis okay so now we're down to 531,000 results and when we look here um, it's good when YouTube comes up the top because you can go and put a video um, on YouTube concentrating on golf swing analysis see this one's got it here but I bet you any money if you look at their tags and their descriptions and all that stuff that um, you would be able to beat them and get up here right into this top half here um, also down here if you had a look um, one of the things that I usually do to get up the top here is to actually go and buy a domain name with golf swing analysis in the domain name now no one's done that here if you look through um, also as you can see there, there's money to be made here now I'm gonna I bet you any money it's saturated so what I'm gonna do that means that there's a lot of competition so what I'm gonna do is copy it and now I'm gonna go to Google tool um, keywords so what you do is you can just um, I actually go into AdWords and then go into the keyword tool but you can just Google Google keyword tool and you should be able to find this here now um, what I want to do, I'll just get rid of those advanced options. This is what it looks like kind of here. Now you put the keyword in here, right? So I'm going to paste a keyword in there and press on search. Okay, so now we go down here and it's golf swing analysis. Now the competition is right up to 100%. Okay, it's full. Um, but there is, there's good searches and there's good local searches and stuff like that. There's actually heaps, that's a fair bit so as you can see if you come down here these words that are down here have got less competition now um, look if you 
I'm the kind of person that would go for that anyway, golf swing analysis. It says there's a lot of competition. We know there's a lot of money in it. If you're confident that you can beat those people and get up there, then I would go for it, for sure. Um, the first thing I'd do is go and find that name. If you can find that name, golfswinganalysis.com, then you'd have a bit more of an advantage over them. Um, because you find that most people end up on number one of Google by accident, okay? And um, if they do that, they get comfortable and they don't work on their keywords and work on um, keeping up there. So people can come along and beat them. Um, and that's what I do all the time. Right. Okay, so just say you didn't want to go for that okay so I'm going to look down here and I'm looking at this and I'm going oh well this is interesting because they haven't got much competition and they've got fairly good searches happening here um, so let's look at this one here sports analysis software so let's copy that and put it up there just um, you know you could do it easier but let's do it this way okay now um, here's the results here um, the competition's not full but it's over half so uh, I'll keep looking a little bit and I reckon we should check out this one here this looks like it's even got better searches okay and way less competition right so let's go here I know we've got way away from the golf subject but seriously um, you don't really need to go there so let's press it okay so here it is video sports analysis now this is what I've started I mean this is what I ended up with by looking for the word golf golf swing golf swing analysis then I got on to um, sports analysis or something and now I'm on to video sports analysis okay so let's have a look at it there's hardly any competition right now why do you think that is because this is new technology um, and people haven't caught on yet okay um, there's good searches here okay um, and now I'm going to go and check it out in a couple of other things so let's go back to Google search and I'm going to paste it in here and search for it. Now I can see that there is a lot of results coming up but they're not going to be all you know um, sport is a big game but um, yeah you can still like I said get that domain name with all those keywords in it and try and get up the top here but you've got a better chance because Google says there's not much competition which there looks like there is but not for these exact keywords okay right so let's we've done the keyword tool so let's go to somewhere else now now Google Insights now that's what I actually googled and I ended up at this website so now I've pasted in um, well I've actually pasted in sports analysis software and then seen how it was going here so see people didn't know what it was at all and now they do and they go oh yeah this is okay now if you're a you know like to predict things like me you're probably thinking that this might catch on you know a bit better than that now um, I'm gonna put in video sports analysis and press search and see what happens okay so it's on a little bit of a downhill oh, it's not you couldn't really call it a downhill like but uh, the forecast here is to go along at the same rate now it's not that exciting um, but it's okay um, now I want to show you a niche that I'm actually in at the moment WordPress website okay now of course I've drilled down a bit now I'm gonna press search 
and I'm going to show you the growth of WordPress. Okay? Now that's, I love it. That's what you want to see. Now I actually called my um, website WordPress Website Builder dot com of course and here it is it's just going up and that's it and the reason it only starts here and starts to go up I'm gonna tell you is that people think that WordPress is a blog but now they're thinking I might use WordPress for a website okay which really when it comes down to it now there's not much difference um, of course we can get technical and say that there is a difference but the point is that people are using these words now um, instead of WordPress blog okay they're starting to use WordPress website alright um, okay well these are the three things that I kind of look at now when I'm on here on um, Google keyword tool I can download this information so I just press here and say download all 12 and it'll download it to a CSV file to your computer so you can look at it later now um, the other thing is um, as soon as you've looked at these and you go oh yeah I, I want to do this right you go and buy your domain name and check it out now so look what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get something with video sports analysis so I, I'm actually going to go to Namecheap okay because um, uh, that's where I buy my domains because they um, yeah they're pretty good I like them and they're cheap enough right so I'm just going to sign in takes a, just a few seconds to sign in. It's got to find, you know, all my domains and stuff and my account information. Oops. <laughs> and sometimes you don't spell it right, obviously. Okay. Okay. Um all right, so I've only got eight dollars in there. I'll just um, I'll just actually fill it up in a minute. But what I do is I just come straight up here, okay, and um, paste in that video sports analysis and take the spaces out and press go. Okay, so it's taken. All right so what I do is I paste it in again now I don't mind having a dash somewhere okay so I'm gonna put a dash here and bring that one in now the point of it is that I've got those words in there still okay now I've done it before I always put a dash in alright there we go okay so videosportsanalysis.com now I might not I just want to check out and see if the other one is so we'll go video whoop, video sports and then dash analysis okay because it might look a little bit better I'm not sure alright okay so we've got a choice of two here now you might think oh that's an ugly name and it's not cool and all that stuff right but look it will take you to the top of the search engines if you put your keywords in there you've, if you put all your keywords in there it's just so much better um, look I'll just show you an example for me so you know because my website is WordPress website builder right so we're gonna search for WordPress website builder okay so there's my website there 
right there. Now look, WordPress website builder. But the thing is, okay, this is, um, you know, a, a bit of a, it's not a long tail keyword, but it's longer than WordPress website or WordPress. But the thing is, sooner or later, I will be catching up to these people that have got WordPress website. Okay. Um, I don't know what page I'm on at the moment, but I think I'm crawling up there anyway. And I didn't really plan on that. Okay, there it is there. I'm on page three, okay, for WordPress website. Page three. Now this blog, I mean website, sorry, I don't like to call them blogs because I hate that. Um, it's about four to five months old and um, I'm going to, like I'm travelling through those pages uh, 171 million results so I'm on page 3 so it's not too bad even though I'm not even going for that keyword I think I'm going to um, get there S now the reason I know this is if I go back right the results even on this page now here's one here WordPress website okay but the thing is I've got WordPress website in my domain name and also um, I've mentioned it a lot now these people haven't so I may end up on page two so if I go to the first page um, yeah you just keep looking do you think you can beat these people yep never know all right Thanks for watching. Um, so basically, there's more. There's a lot more sites you can go and check out all these keywords. Uh, but I like Google Keyword Tool, Google Insights, and Google. Okay, um, Google's got more things here. If you press on more, they've got um, all these tools down here. Right, I like this one here, the Wonder Wheel. Okay comes up with a wheel with your word in the middle and then the ones the related ones coming off so you can actually click on them and drill down or drill through your words um, to find something like what I just showed you okay um, now you're welcome to go and try that um, you know that niche that I just came up with video sports analysis or whatever it was because I'm not going to buy the name. There it is there. Video Sports Analysis. Go for it. I'm sure... I mean, I'm not into sports and I'm not into, you know, analysis or anything. Um, and I, you could do it. It's just that I don't want to. I'm not, I really hate sport. Um, like, you know, watching sport and stuff. I don't mind doing it, but I don't like watching other people do it. All right. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you go to my website, wordpresswebsitebuilder.com, because um, I try to explain things, um, and I hope you understand. Okay, see you later. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, make sure you press that subscribe button on YouTube if you're watching. Um, also visit my website, there'll be a link under the video. And if you're on my website, make sure you sign up and get my free newsletter and free tips and all sorts of things. Okay, see you later.